Look, the Season 5 Reloaded update brought a ton of balance to the meta. There's really a variety of SMGs that you can be using right now. So today, I'm going to be going over the top 10 SMGs for both Rebirth and Fortune's Keep. Starting off here in no particular order with the Vanguard PPSH. This is a little bit of an obvious one. This thing was broken like three days ago. And yes, it was given a nerf, but it's still a really good option for both maps. Good TTK. It's got a good fire rate, which makes it a little bit more forgiving. It's got really good all-around mobility, which just makes it a great option. It's still easily one of my favorite favorite SMGs to run. Now, next up, we're going to go here to the Type 100, and this is actually today's gameplay. It's going to be a 33 kill live commentary where I'm giving you insight as I'm actually playing into what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, and why I'm doing what I'm doing as a 4KD player. Now, the Type 100 here is still absolutely the fastest TTK in terms of SMGs. The downside is the 36 round mag. You can kind of get away with that in duos, solos. It's easily the best option. Trios and quads, it is pretty tough to actually use this because of that 36 round mag. Now, next up, we're going to throw back a little bit we got a nice nice little bullfrog build here for you this is a little bit different than some of some people run or maybe it's the same but keep in mind with vanguard guns we value mobility that's why we have to run tiger team and the bruiser grip now the bullfrog here the downside it is the slowest ttk out of these top 10 smgs but at the end of the day it's really not that much compared to like that middle of the pack you're really not losing that much ttk overall this thing has really good range which is the biggest thing and we of course have that stock 50 round mag that we can use by the way as we're going into this next one here the blixen i'm going to be doing ars a little bit later on this week so make sure you are subscribed down below so that you don't miss that one ar same thing a lot of great options especially when we're talking about vanguard versus modern warfare versus cold war now the blixen here you know yes it was given a nerf it's kind of been nerfed a few times now but still a really good option biggest thing with the blixen just the mobility i mean this thing has the fastest sprint speed it's got the fastest ads movement speed it's got the really good sprint to fire time which allows you to get those crosshairs out get that first shot off making it just a really good all-around option now next up we're going to go here to the ak-74u little bit of, su of a surprising one here being a cold war option but once again it's got good enough mobility to kind of you know compete with those vanguards and by the way why do i value mobility so much because if, a, if somebody with a vanguard gun is chasing you you're going to get run down if you're not using a gun with decent mobility you're going to get end up getting caught and shot in the back that's why mobility is so important that's why modern warfare guns aren't really viable right now you know it's got okay range and it definitely has a viable ttk a little bit of a interesting gun to use but overall i put it in my top 10 absolutely especially as a cold war gun now next up here we go to the armagera this is one of two armagera builds that i'm going to be giving you simply because they are a little bit different and i absolutely love both of them armagera definitely one of my favorite smgs right up there with the vanguard ppsh and this thing is just an all-around good gun good mobility very easy to use it's got a good ttk fast fire rate you know it's not the best at really anything but overall Overall, I just love using it because of how versatile it is. Now, next up, we're going to go here to the MP40. MP40 has been in the mix for a little bit now, and it's just an all around really good gun. Once again, similar to the Armagera that I just mentioned, you know, good mobility, good TTK. The downside of the MP40 is going to be the range. It has a pretty bad damage drop off. So you really do have to fight right on top of people with this gun. By the way, console players, probably not the best for you because of that damage drop off. And the fact that you do have to fight right on top of people, which console players, I always tell you not to do. Stay outside of that five to seven meter range. Next up here, we're going to go to the Marco 5. Another one that's been around for a while. It was once the absolute meta SMG, but you know, now it's just in the meta. It's not the meta, but it's definitely a top 10 option. You know, good movement speed, good TTK. It's got good range. Biggest thing with this build right here that I found is it's just very easy to use, very easy to hit your shots. And that's where we talk about comfort within the meta. Comfort doesn't matter more than the meta. You've got to be able to have a gun that competes with other top guns. But yeah, within this, top 10 find what you're most comfortable with now next up here we're going to wrap this video up with the ra225 little bit of an interesting one i think why this doesn't get more attention is simply because a lot of people don't have it leveled up it's a good all-around gun it's a little bit tougher to use but at the end of the day i felt really good with it it does have a good feel factor and one other thing i want to address here is if you don't have a certain gun unlocked or leveled up don't worry about it we've got another month of this game and then we're going to be moving on to brand new guns brand new maps so if you don't have something leveled up at the end of the day you don't have to worry about it that's just where the meta at that's where the balance really comes into play and finally here we're going to go with this second armagera build that i really like right here is probably my favorite armor build once again a really good all-around gun and overall i just feel really comfortable with this thing i feel like i play really well with it and that's why it's one of my favorite smgs to run so i hope you found today's video helpful stick around for the gameplay if you are looking to get better i promise you you're going to learn something and as i always say let's get better today and i will see you in the next hours one hours of slumber for
You think he regrets that, chat? One up here. I think he might regret that decision to land right there. Just, just an inkling. What are you? Black said, bud. Very nervous to get my load out here because I feel like everybody's probably watching it. Oh, baby! Devo, we got people gifting left and right, so that guy scares me. I don't like that guy at all. Mm, didn't know I could wall bang that, did you? Well, oh, toodaloo, baby. Give me a UAV. We're off to a hot start here. This guy's still peeking me, isn't he? No, he's not. Now he's being a weirdo. Uh, let's go over and get to town. A lot of people over this way. Guys, a lot of solos is just about anticipation. You know, and, and you've got to be able to use information. I think that's where it starts to help you. As I always say, the interesting part about solos... He's right around the corner. Well, hello there, Type 100. It's nice to meet you. Uh, big, guys, the biggest thing about solos and why solos can be tough is because you don't have information. Into the area. There's one right side. to my left. I don't know where this guy went. One over on buy station. Right up top here. Down low. I knew he was selfing, by the way. There was there just wasn't a whole lot I could do there. Wait, did he, did he have daddy too? No. Two guys flying in. Oh, baby. Uh, guy right up here. Gas is moving in. You safe zone highlight. No. Hey, what did I buy? I bought an armor box. No. Pushing. Let's relax. Let's just reset here. Bye. That's the art of the re-engage right there. bullet it could have been bad chat could this be the 30 let's go come on
There's a guy right in this shack. 100%. Nope, that was just the crate. Okay. Put your heartbeat sensor away, buddy. Oh, who's shooting at me? I need information here. I got nothing. We'll leave that guy. We kind of need to farm some kills. And keep this lobby alive a little bit. One around the corner for me. Somebody's flying in. That... that Above? Enemy UAV active. I hear people. Chad, it's very hard to get two kills. I love high alert. above type 100 solos need to reload everything dude I didn't get UAV. Come on. I'm back to normal. Enemy precision airstrike. Stay alert. Enemy precision airstrike. Stay alert. Oh, look at this guy right here. TCAP coming in with the freaking five gifted. Hold on, be right back. Type 100 disgusting. Oh my gosh, gas is coming. I didn't even see gas. Oh, I'm over here distracted by TCAP's five gifted. Let's go, TCAP. Uh, one right up here. Where are you? You've got to push me. UAV. There's one straight ahead of me. There's one over to my right. I know you. I'm scared. Everything chat. These are not the two guns to run in combo. I just got high alerted from over there. I just saw him. I, uh, do I dare pop UAV here? I'd rather pop it here than over there. Come on. I gotta kill this guy. 
mom. I'm not gonna be able to get PR, but we can... They're all gonna kill each other here. I can't even play that way. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. I gotta go find this missing guy. Wait, did I just hear a bush? I freaking did. Now I see you. Can I reload the tank while I'm up here? Right on the corner here. Into the new safe zone. Move it. Where'd that guy just go.